Okay, for our project launch, we have four different choices. You know I like to give you choices. All of these are gonna be utilizing watercolors, um, but they have different uh, levels of, uh, I guess independence would be the word. So this first one is artist choice. And artist choice is pretty self-explanatory. This is where you decide how you're going to use watercolors to show your skill. Do you wanna try a portrait? Do you want to try an anime style scene? What about your pet? You know, those are just three suggestions. Um, I am excited to see what you come up with. And you're just going to let me know if you have any questions, need any help deciding or advice on creating your piece. Remember, I am here for you. So don't think I'm just going to throw you out there to go. So the next one, oops, is the silhouette. Now, this one you have probably seen examples of in my room, if you've seen my room. But um, here's where you're going to do a very light outline. And then you're going to do the watercolor technique inside. Um, and so, and there's an enrichment option I'll show you down below. So if you look at these, I mean, there's a little bit of details going on, but there's really no outline. You let the watercolor shine on its own. The, every leaf here is not complete. Leaf. Every feather here is not complete. Um, here are some other ones. This one's a really great example. They used a wet on wet technique within the framework of the seahorse. Um, here is a beautiful little sea turtle. We all love a llama, look at those eyes. Um, and then a enrichment is you could do a scene within it. So here you have, um, she created a wintry scape inside of her skirt. Um, here's a forest scene inside of the deer. There are some more um, instructions here. Draw, you need to use at least three techniques. Black should be limited. Um, ignore this, we're, not, we're just we're gonna go with this one, all right? Um, the next one is the atmospheric pressure. I'm sorry, atmospheric perspective. I've been saying that all day. So with that, um, there is a slide deck here that goes through the steps. Um, all right, so it goes through the steps. Um, this video goes over the same steps. It reads it to you. So if you want it to do this one, it goes through it. Um, I provided some reference images here. These all have atmospheric um, perspective happening in them. Um, you're welcome to search out your own or combine one. This would be a great one for a fantasy scape, underwater paradise. Um, you could, I mean, combine elements of it. Look how cool this one is. Um, this one's not as cool, but it gives you the idea of that you could find a cityscape um, and all of that. Ooh, look at that one. Ooh pretty. Um, so these are here for you to use if you would like them, um, or you may search out your own. And then last but not least is under the sea. I guess I need to update that video again. Um, so there is a slide deck here with directions that step-by-step -step work you through it. It has embedded videos if you need to relearn that technique, because it has been a while since we have done it. Um, this video directions just goes over the slide deck with me reading the text for you, okay? So as we're doing this, nope, this is where I want to be. You have the choice, okay? This, um, we're going to give you six school days, including today, to work on this project. I do expect it to be about eight by 10, about notebook paper size. Um, your sketchbook is nine by 12 usually, um, but I do expect it to be full page, not teeny tiny. All right. Um, you're going to let me know if you have any questions and I so look forward to seeing what you're doing.